The, the president's uh, foreign policy has been uh, criticized uh, because of this leading from behind strategy and, and the situation uh, that he keeps calling contained and under control with regard to ISIS. Clearly, it is not. Talk to us about the broader foreign policy and yep. what kind of a strategy you would have. America has to lead. And every time someone like myself says that, the president's response is, well, we're not the world's policemen. We're not, you know, you're a warmonger. No, leadership means that you draw the Arab countries together in a unified force, that you bring Europe along. Only the United States can do this. I would ask the commander, I would ask the military uh, leaders to say, give me a strategy, give me options to destroy ISIS and not put constraints on them. He puts constraints by having, in effect, lawyers on top of the sorties, by saying no civilian casualties, by saying no boots on the ground. That isn't leadership. And no one believes the president when he talks now. No one in the world believes him. And that's creating even greater uncertainty. And, and we saw that sort of arrogance uh, from Turkey. Uh, while the country is afraid of what's happening here, the president seems to want to uh, basically blame the Republicans and yeah. pick a fight with the Republicans. Uh, is he missing the tone of the country? He's totally missing it. Uh, people are scared. Because we, he, they do not see a leader that is uh, focused on keeping us safe. Uh, I think we need to reauthorize, reauthorize the Patriot Act, including the metadata program. I think we need to be clear that we're uh, on the side of uh, our allies, like like France, if they wanted to um, to call for Article Five to be used as in the, in the NATO uh, agreement. We should we should be there by their side. Uh, we should make it clear that that. We have an objective of destruction of ISIS. None of that is, is on, the, on the table right now, and Americans are justifiably frustrated and scared. And, and Article 5 being, look, if one NATO country is attacked, we're all attacked. We are in this together. Absolutely. Th that is Article French, 5. If the French believed that the United States would, uh, would be there by their side, they would probably call for that. And we can't expect the French to lead this effort. Uh, we can do this in partnership with our European allies and certainly do it uh, garnering the support of the, of the Arab uh, neighborhood, which has been really kind of scattered as it relates to the fight in, in Syria. So this is, this is a time for uh, leadership. And on the refugee issue, look, the idea that somehow religious minorities can't be treated uh, with, with a degree of respect, I reject out of hand. Christians are being slaughtered in, around the world now, and uh, it is a historic time. You, mass is not sh given in Mosul for the first time in 14 or 1500 years. People are being beheaded because of their faith. People are being, young people are being raped and held hostage. Yazidis are, are, are being destroyed. And we sit back and say that there, there isn't some kind of special obligation to deal with them. I think this competing ideology of pessimism on the left and right needs to be rejected out of hand. Our values matter and, and our strength matters. And when we act weak and we don't embrace our own values, the rest of the world doesn't think we're serious. Uh, Hillary Clinton yesterday unveiled what she called her ISIS strategy. Uh, what struck you about that strategy, people are wondering if this is a continuation of what the president has been putting in place, which has been called a failure. I think it was a reflection of reading a poll in a focus group. It was a, different than last week, which was different than the week before. Uh, I think as a, as a leader, you have to stand on principle, think it through, stick with it, and persuade people. She's reacting to the, you know, to the, to the conditions of this week. Next week it may change and her views may change. That's not leadership. That's just mirroring how people are thinking in the here and now. And when you look at the strategy that the president has put in place, it is largely airstrikes. Yeah. Talk to us about these airstrikes and how uh, reliable they have been. There have been some people who have joined us recently this week, in fact, who are saying when we're doing airstrikes, we're very rarely, in fact, hitting the targets. Yeah, we're not even, we're very rarely actually uh, launching the ordinance. Um, the sortie, 75% of them, as I understand it, go back to base without, without launching because we don't have forward air controllers. We don't have the intelligence to be able to specific, specifically identify the targets in the proper way. In, in Iraq, that means we need to embed in, the, in Iraq, the Iraqi military. We need to arm the Kurds directly. We need to re-engage politically and militarily with the Sunni tribal leaders. And if we were engaged in that fashion, we could, we could have a much more accurate uh, way for using our air superiority. Similarly, in, in Syria, the same thing applies. And, and